The person responsible for dropping these charges is U.S. Attorney for the District of Columbia, Matthew Graves, who was appointed by Joe Biden and works for the Attorney General. Turns out he's also the prosecutor investigating January 6th. Is he giving those guys the same treatment? Let's turn to Ned Ryan, American Majority founder and CEO. All right, Ned, can you believe it? Charges dropped against the Colbert Nine. It's unbelievable hypocrisy by Graves. Uh, you're right, he is prosecuting the January 6th protesters. And, and to highlight the hypocrisy, more than 200 people uh, have been charged, have pled guilty to parading on January 6th, which is a petty offense class B misdemeanor. Uh, even though they walked through open doors in front of police, were not asked to leave, yet Graves has actually recommended charges and sentencing of 60 to 90 days in jail. But not with Colbert. It was unlawful entry misdemeanor. It's all been dropped. It could have been up to 180 days in jail. But Graves didn't think that it was worth pursuing. Because again, Jesse, I think this highlights what I think a lot of people have started to realize, but I want to make this point. We have a bifurcated legal system here in this country in which if you have the wrong political views or the wrong political net connections, you have the book thrown at you. But if you have the right connections, uh, everything gets dropped. And it's just a shrug as you walk away. And this is a, this is a serious problem in this country because one of the fundamental, fundamental foundational aspects of our republic is the equal application of the law. We all stand equal before the law. The law is equally applied. But when the law becomes a political tool to punish political enemies, all bets are off. All right. Ned, thank you so much. And we're still going to pursue comic The Insult Dogs mugshot.